Right in Fox Family and Health this morning, this could be the book that could literally save your family's life as far as how much food they could enjoy with all the flavors. HEV has a brand new book out called My Texas Table, and we have Lorena Kaplan here, who is the HEV registered dietitian. We say good morning to you. Good morning. And I say that because you have a hundred family favorites in here, things that everybody loves in San Antonio, right. and you've done them to where they're healthy for us as well. Right. So we asked our customers, you know, what do you like to eat? Tell us what your family is eating every day, and we're going to tell you how to lighten it up. And that's exactly what that's you've what done. Did. So right. this morning, let's talk about the um, recipe you're going to be doing this morning. This is grilled fish tacos. Grilled fish tacos, one of my favorite ways to have fish. Um, it's so simple, it's so delicious. So let me show you how to get okay. this doing. So you want to have a nice hot pan. We're going to be cooking with some olive oil because, you know, as you mentioned earlier, healthy oils are very important in your diet. Yeah, because so, I think people are worried when they see oil or they see avocado and they, they or they say, oh, that's a bad fat. But actually, it's good for your heart as long as you're not eating too much of it, right? Right. So everything needs to be, needs to be eaten in portion. Okay. So portion control. So we're going to have a nice cut of fish here. I've got a cod, which is really mild. Okay. And we're going to season it up with a little bit of our Texas Original seasoning. This is a fajita seasoning. Oh. You can use this on anything, vegetables. It doesn't have to be a fajita. It's just going to give a lot of flavor to your food. Very nice. Okay, and how hot do you need a pan when you're cooking fish like this? So I wouldn't do it too hot. I do a medium-high heat, especially okay. if you're cooking with olive oil. And because you'll, you'll get a nice sear on it once you get a nice hot pan. Okay. But, but the thing about fish is it, it cooks very fast. So you don't want to overcook it. So this is going to be a dish that you could make when you come home and go, oh my goodness, I don't have a lot of time to cook, but I've got the fish out or I'm going to stop and get fish. This is something you do very quickly for your family. The quickest dinner you'll ever make is fish. Okay. I mean, it, it, co it quick, uh, cooks quicker than a lot of our other proteins. So All right. Really super simple. But while that's cooking, I want to get the other half of our recipe flavor coming from a slaw that if you can help us make that. Okay. Now we just have an angel hair um, cabbage cut here, so okay. really fine cut cabbage. And what we're going to get the majority of our flavor here is from a pico de gallo oh, that's already that's been good. made for you. Yeah. So you want to combine this with the cabbage. And you have the mild, but you can also do the spicy if you like it a little spicier, right? Right, okay. right. If you want, or you want to add some fresh jalapenos as well, you can do that to add a little bit more flavor. Just add um, the whole thing. Add the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to mix all of that together. Now, traditionally, if you you know know how to make a slaw. That'd be a lot of fat coming from mayonnaise or other sure. dressing. So this is a way to keep it really light, but bring a lot of the flavor in from the pico de gallo. And this is very fresh too, especially in a hot summer day where you don't want something that's very heavy. That's right. This would be very light. And if you don't use it all, you could use it the next day on something else too, right? That's right. Yeah, you can put it on other types of tacos. It doesn't just have to be a fish taco, but I'll tell you what, this, um, for, for our fish tacos, this is half the flavor right here. Is, is what we did, and it's right. half the fat. Is there's hardly any fat in right. it at all. Well, there, yeah, there's no fat. No, oh. fat, of, no fat at all. Even in this better. Left. Okay, so we've got <laughs> right. that, and then you've cut so, yourself some avocado here. Right, so we've got our toppings. So now, traditionally, you'd put the slaw, and definitely you can add a slice of avocado. We've added some um, extra fresh jalapenos, mm. but you want to also serve it on a corn tortilla. All right. Because okay? so now we're we're reducing our calories even more by going with a corn tortilla, adding a little bit of fiber. And so you can just um, warm them up in your tortilla warmer, which nope. always works really well. Very in the nice. All right. Yes. I haven't seen anything like this. Yep. You put them straight in there, put them <laughs> in the microwave, and they warm and they stay hot for a very really? long time. Really? So you just put the tortillas in here, put them in the microwave, mm -hmm. and heat them up? Yep. This is really a great yep. idea. Yep. So I, I love it. I use it almost every day. All right. So we got about a minute left. So you're going to finish up the uh, mm -hmm. the uh, fish there. Mm -hmm. And it takes about how long for the fish? The fish is going to cook for about three uh, minutes on each side. Three minutes, OK. A total and of six minutes, not really. And then long. you'll continue to put this up. But this is what the finished product looks That's like right, right. here. Mm -hmm. So Lorena has put it together for us. And we're all going to get to try it after she cooks up the fish. But it looks delicious. The recipe on FoxSanAntonio.com for the grilled fish taco. But you can pick up the book at any HEB that you go to if you want to try this recipe or any of the recipes. Recipes. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you have us covered. Don't it's forget dessert. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We all want something sweet after we have the tangy. Thank That's you right. so much, Lynn. You're very welcome. appreciate it. We'll be back after a break right here on Fox News. First, stay with us.